All right, so here we're going to uh, take a look at the double angle identities. We have uh, we have sine two a is equal to two sine a cosine a, and then we have our double angle identities for cosine. Notice we have three different formulas here. So, how do you know which formula formula to use for the double angle identities for cosine. Well, it just depends on what information they give you. If they give you cosine, you can use this one. If they give you a value of sine, you can use this one. If they give you cosine and sine, you can use this one. Uh, and if they do give you uh, sine and cosine, then you can actually, uh, if they give you both, you can use any of the three you want. Okay. All right, so in in this video, we're going to look at uh, finding the exact value of uh, of sine and cosine, and we're going to use the double angle identities to do it. All right, so let's take a look at our first example. All right, so here they want us to find the exact value of sine of 120 degrees. All right. So, of course, with this, there is another way that we could find the exact value of sine 120, and that's using reference angles, okay? That is another way to do it, and I, I have some videos of, uh, I have some videos doing that. Uh, you can check those out if you want to take a look at it, uh, finding the sine of, you know, an angle, the exact value using reference angles. But in this video, we're going to use uh, the double angle identities. All right, so let's get started. We have uh, we have the sine of 120 degrees. All right, so we're going to use the double angle identity for for sine. Well, let's go ahead and write that down so we know the sine of 2 times a is equal to 2 times sine a times cosine a. Alright, so I need to get this to a value that I know. Okay, so you, you have to remember uh, the sine, cosine, and tangent of 30, 45, and 60 degrees. Okay, so we do have to know that's that's the ones you have to remember. Okay, well, if we look at 120, we can rewrite the sine of 120 as the sine of 2 times 60 degrees. Okay. And you see that we have it, have this written in this form. You see, there's the 2, and there's the 2. And so in this case, 60 would be our A. Okay? 60 is our A. So we're going to plug 60 in, or 60 degrees in, for A. So this would give us. 2 times the sine of A, which is 60 degrees, times the cosine of A, which is 60 degrees. And so this is going to give us 2 times, and then the sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2, times the cosine of 60, which is 1 half. And then you can see here, these 2's cancel. And so I'm left with square root of 3 over 2. Okay. All right, let's take a look at another example. This time we're going to do the, it's the same angle, but we're going to use the uh, uh, cosine. All right, so just like in the last example, we have cosine of 120 degrees. Okay, now... Let's go ahead 
and write down our formulas so we know cosine 2a is cosine squared a minus sine squared a and cosine 2a is equal to 2 cosine squared a minus 1 and cosine 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Alright, so in, in this problem we have got to make the 120 just like in the last one. We need 30, 45, or 60 degrees and of course we're going to rewrite the 120 as cosine of 2 times 60 degrees because 2 times 60 is 120 and we know the cosine of 120. Alright, so now which formula did we use? Well, really it, it doesn't matter. Okay, we can use we can use either formula. It makes no difference. Alright, so I guess let's just use this one. Let's just use this formula here. So this is equal to two times cosine squared 60 minus 1. See? The 60 here. That's our A. See? There's our A. And then there's the 2. And there's the 2 in the formula. Alright. So, remember, when you're... Let me get the... Let me change colors again. So this is 2. Now remember this cosine squared 60, that's the cosine, that's the same thing as cosine of 60 degrees and then all of that squared. So this is 2 times and then the cosine of 60 is 1 half and that's squared minus 1. So this is going to give us 2 times 1 fourth minus 1 and then 2 times 1 fourth Okay, that cancels, that cancels, and so we're left with one half minus one, which equals negative one half. And that makes sense because 120 degrees is in the second quadrant, and we know cosine is negative in the second quadrant. Okay, all right. So I hope this video's helped. Uh, uh, if you like my videos, you can subscribe. Alright, thanks for watching.